a little more on the Torino. Looks like the little issue here with the uh, critters, uh, they just ate the uh, wire to the choke, but it looks like it's still there, so it could be fixed. A couple vacuum lines are chewed as well, but that's an easy fix. Car still runs really smooth. I had to put new plug wires in. Um, cap rotor distributor was redone too, uh, on account of uh, critters uh, chewing up the you know, the wires there, as you see there. But the chrome is uh, in good shape, with no really no damage to it. Um, the tires, unfortunately, are dry rotted, but they are the original uh, staggered bags, slotted bags. Um, the car's got no rust issues. It's pretty much been a California vehicle. These are the areas that it mostly rusts. Um, we did have an issue here where the body guy used a lot of Bondo. Um, that could easily be stripped off and redone. But as you can see, there's no rust in the these areas here that are these cars are prone to rust in right there. Uh, nothing down here. So it's a pretty much an easy fix. The stripe was done by the, the pattern was provided to me by the guys that did the second Starsky and Hutch film. So it's an exact copy of what they used in the the latest or the last version of the smooth of the movie. Um, so it could easily be, you know, fixed because most of the pattern is still there. And as you can see, we've had this car. This was my first bike. I'm 47. I had this bike when I was 14. It's an old Schwinn Scrambler. Still here. Probably go on eBay. But uh, for the most part, the trunk's pretty solid. Um, just your occasional, uh, you know, just dirtiness. Uh, rubber still pliable. No rust in the corners here where they usually rust. Um, so someone's going to get a really, you know, a nice, a nice canvas, as I like to call it. Oh, looks like the F fell off, but uh, I'm sure that's a easy fix. There we go. This car really wants some love. Um, wouldn't take much to, to get it there. As it, uh, we'd rebuilt the transmission and all that stuff, so the car, why we didn't do it, we had it done, but, um, that makes somebody a really nice car. Um, the hood is blue because, uh, well, unfortunately, somebody stole the hood that we had, so I had to rescue one of the, you know, pick and pull, pick apart. I have an NOS dash pad uh, in a box that goes with it. Um, obviously, the original shag carpeting is, you know, done for. Um, you know, you could probably get a carpet kit for about a hundred dollars. Um, for the most part, it's you know it's dirty. Um, you know, I recommend replacing it, but uh, it is original as a car, and then the headliner has started to come apart, um, which is probably you know an easy fix. The head, the sun visors I removed. I have them stored so they wouldn't get sun damaged. But I have those. Um, the AC compressor is not frozen. The car does have uh, factory air, although, you know, it's disconnected, of course, as everybody did back in the days, but the compressor is not um, frozen. It still spins freely. Um, probably a nice uh, evacuation and recharge with, uh, if you could even get R12 anymore. Overall, um, you know, for the price I'm asking, uh, this car's, uh, got a lot of potential.